I thought you might like some breakfast. Cook sent up your favorite. Thanks. Oh, that's a bad idea. Get back in bed, you foolish boy. You're supposed to be taking it easy. <sighs> Sheridan, it's only a sprained ankle. Well, a very badly sprained ankle, which you got trying to help me uncover my past at the newspaper morgue. The least I can do in return is to keep you from making it any worse. But I've got work to do. I mean, I can't lay around in bed all day, Sheridan. Well, you're going to have to. Doctor's orders. Now be a good nephew and eat your breakfast. Then you can go back to that romantic little dream you were having. How did you know it was romantic? <laughs> Judging by that smile on your face when you weren't sleeping, I'd say you were dreaming about you and Gwen doing who knows what. Yeah, only it wasn't Gwen. I was dreaming of another girl. You're kidding me. Who? I have no idea. Actually, it has to do with what really happened last night at the movie theater. I sat down next to this girl who I thought was Gwen. I put my arm around her and I started kissing her hand. <laughs> she must have slapped you, silly. That's what's strange. She didn't. It's late. Teresa, wake up. Not now, Whitney. I'm busy being Ethan's ideal woman. Hello? You heard it from Ethan's own lips. Gwen is Ethan's ideal woman, not you. I can't control my dreams, Whitney. And what about you? Did you have any more dreams about Frank? You know, Frank is the last person I would dream about, okay? If he ever finds out that I lied about Ethan Stalker, you, not moving to South America, he'd have us both arrested. Don't worry, Whitney. We're in the clear as long as Frank only sees me in my disguise. Besides, I know you were dreaming about Frank last night when I was dreaming about Ethan. You've got it as bad for Frank as I do for Ethan. <laughs> <laughs>